Speaker, while the candidates for governor are meeting for the first time out on the campaign trail, both addressing a summit on farm policy one day after Republicans nominated Lieutenant Governor Eric Holcomb to replace Mike Pence on the ballot. Our TV6 State House reporter Katie Hines joins us live to explain. Katie. Both Lieutenant Governor Eric Holcomb and Democrat John Gregg say they're feeling confident heading into what one characterizes as a 100-day sprint leading into November. This as a report services and questions arise over whether Holcomb can receive significant campaign cash from Governor Pence. Those questions first coming out in a report in Politico yesterday, specifically which campaign finance limits apply to the amount Pence can move to Holcomb's campaign, whether state or federal law. Pence joined the Trump ticket as a candidate for vice president with more than seven million dollars in his Mike Pence for Indiana campaign fund. He endorsed Holcomb to replace him on the ballot. Heading into November, Holcomb tells me he's concerned but confident he can raise the millions needed to execute his campaign plans. Greg isn't directly answering whether he thinks he has an advantage in both time and money. He says his new opponent won't change his strategy. And I'm the only candidate that has been running for governor all along. Um, I declared for governor, and I've stayed running for that position. It's because I want to serve as governor rather than be governor. Um, I don't pay a lot of attention to polls and name ID, but I do listen to Hoosiers. Well, I've been traveling the state for about 12 years in perpetual motion. Been to all counties more than three times. Had relationships in different uh, capacities, whether it be working for Senator Coates, working for Mitch Daniels for eight years. Years serving as the state party chairman. So I don't think anyone has the network that is ready to go. We'll have a better idea of the full Republican ticket now in the next couple of days. Friday is the filing deadline right here at the Secretary of State's office for people who are interested in running for lieutenant governor. Now we'll have a better idea also on Monday. That's when the Republican State Central Committee will formally vote to determine who will take that spot on the ballot. Reporting live tonight, Katie Hines, RTV6.